Hello from Jones On Flow. We are thrilled that you took the time to press play and check out what we're up to. During this time of transition, we thought it would be a great idea to develop a video series to spark a conversation and to electrify your creativity. Our presenters come from all different backgrounds, gardeners, small business owners, moms, dads, kids, and some of them might even be your neighbor. To check out this video series, you can visit our YouTube channel at J-O-E-M-C TV. The nice thing is you can learn at your own pace. So remember, you just have to press play and be ready to learn. Hi, I'm Paula Reddick and this is Chris Banks. We work for Jones Onslow and we're here today to talk to you about something that's very important to us and that is electrical safety. We're gonna go over some different situations that you might find yourself in and tell you what you can do to protect yourself to make sure that you always remain safe. All right, the first situation we're gonna to talk to you about is what would you do if you're on a school bus and there is an accident and the power line has fallen on? I'm sure that each of you all have been on a school bus or at some point you'll be on a field trip and you'll be on a school bus. So we're gonna use Neon Leon to demonstrate what you need to do to protect yourself. So Leon is on the bus, they're on a field trip and there has been an accident and the power line is on the bus. What should Leon do? Should Leon go out the emergency exit and try to get help? Or should he stay for help to arrive? Well, Neon Leon has decided that he's gonna take action into his own hands. He's going out the emergency exit to try to find help. So let's see what happens to Neon Leon when he goes and out the emergency exit. <laughs> Ooh, Leon, that's not a good thing. That means that Leon has been electrocuted. So you always want to remember if you're in a car or in a school bus and that situation arises, you want to stay until help comes. It will not be long before an emergency responder is there to help you. Always remember that electricity is trying to find a pathway to the ground. So when Leon touched the bus and that ground at the same time, he became that pathway. Okay, I know you all probably want to go outside and when you're outside, you may want to climb some trees. I bet we have some tree climbers out there, but we want to talk to you about what trees you do not want to climb. And those are trees that are located near the power lines. Even if a tree is not grown up into the power line, if it's close to it, and you climb up at the top of it, the weight of the tree bending into the power line could cause you to be electrocuted. Leon has decided he's going to climb a tree that's near the power line. I wonder what's going to happen to Leon. Oh, that was not a good tree for him to climb. As you can tell, Leon has become Neon, so now he's Neon Leon. So we always want to make sure that we climb trees that are far away from the power lines. Okay, some of you all may live in a subdivision that has overhead transformers, but some of you all may live in a subdivision that has underground transformers. That means there's this green box that you'll see in between your yards. A lot of times we'll see people sitting on that or leaning up against them, even though it has this sign on there, danger, high voltage. If you have a pad mount transformer in your yard, that means underneath there, there are 7,200 volts of electricity. So we don't want to sit on them or we don't want to lean against them. And a lot of people do not like the way they look in their yard. So they want to kind of hide them by planting shrubbery or whatnot. So Leon has decided that he does not like the way that pad mount transformer looks in his yard. So he's bought some bushes and he's going to go and plant them around there to try to camouflage the pad by transfer. So let's see what happens to Leon when he digs to plant the bush. Oh my! Leon has become Neon Leon again, which is not a good thing. So you want to remember that you don't ever want to dig near one of those transformers. Have you ever wondered why birds can sit on power lines without being electrocuted? As I mentioned earlier, electricity is always trying to find a pathway down to the ground. So birds can fly up, sit there and fly off, and they never have touched anything touching the ground. Unfortunately, there are other animals that try to get on our power lines, and when they climb up the pole and step onto the line to try to walk across it, they unfortunately get electrocuted. And we'll show you through Sparky. Sparky climbed up the pole, but when he put that foot on the wire, he was still touching the pole that was planted in the ground.
We certainly have learned a lot today. So let's recap. First of all, though, we know electricity is a wonderful thing that we have, but it can be dangerous. So we want to remember if we're in a vehicle, whether it be a personal vehicle or a safety bus, and there's an accident and the power line falls on it, we want to stay in the vehicle until help arrives. If we decide we want to climb a tree, we want to look for a tree that is not located near a power line. If we have a pad mount transformer in our yard, no, we don't want to sit on it, we don't want to lean on it, and we certainly don't want to dig around it to try to plant shrubbery. And we don't want to be like Sparky. We have to be careful when we're around anything that has electricity flowing through it. So Chris, thanks, our safety manager. I want to thank you for helping with the demonstration today. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, thank you for having me. Uh, please stay safe. Please stay away from electricity. And thank you for tuning in.